Hey everyone, welcome to another pour video. In today's video, I am doing a very special commission. Um, a lovely lady contacted me and asked if I would do a memorial painting for her husband's daughter, who tragically passed away a year ago um, at 16 years old, and her name was also Emily. And her favorite color was yellow, and she really liked bees a lot. So. This is a celebration of her life. Um, I'm actually really pleased with how this painting turned out. Um, I'm not so pleased with the first half of the video because my lens was a little smudged and I didn't realize it at the time. But as you get further into the video, the quality of the video actually gets better. So, in the end, you'll see what the color actually looks like. Um, so, I apologize for the little bit of a smudgy frame at the beginning. Um, this is actually like the twelfth time that I tried to do this painting. Um, I just, I really wanted to nail it. I really wanted to, um, you know, make sure that yellow was a predominant color and that it was just kind of like full of life and happy. And I really wanted like a kind of organic theme with it. So, um... That's why I incorporated the green and the magenta as well. Just because like I feel like they're like spring colors and it just kind of added to the overall effect. So I'm starting to do the bees here. Um, this was the result of some experimentation earlier. Um, the reason I'm using a syringe for the black is because the big bottle of black that I have, uh, the paint was just coming out too quickly and I couldn't control it well enough and uh, I discovered this syringe that, that I had lying around. I suspect it was from uh, my wisdom teeth being removed a long time ago, but it makes for an excellent bee maker. Anyways, <laughs> um, so I just did like little miniature puddles of paint for my bees, and I kind of made a little head on one side, and then I swiped um, the syringe through the bum of the bee to uh, make the little stingers and I thought that you know the bees are actually pretty cute and they work with the painting um, so at this point there was a lot of back and forth is with this painting really I mean there's a lot of uh, walking away from it I actually cleaned up and thought I was done and then I took a look at the picture that I uh, took of it and decided that I wasn't done I didn't like the bottom part and so there was a lot of swiping stuff away and kind of you know adjusting leaves and things like that um, and then I kind of felt like it was still a little bit unbalanced. Like there was something that just wasn't sitting right with me. Um, we're finally at the stage of the video where the color is actually true. Um, and I decided that I needed just one more swirly thing. And I had messed around with the stem so much that uh, the colors weren't really organized. So I really wanted some straight lines uh, going through the middle of it. Um, that's why I did the third tray. So I was extremely nervous laying down this ribbon. Um, I liked the painting overall. It was just that last little bit that I wanted to fix. Um, but it needed to happen. And I actually think that I managed to fix it pretty well. Um, the lines got a little more organized. And that last blossom, I guess, if you will, really balanced out the painting. Um, and it turned the painting from like me liking the painting into me loving the painting. And I hope that my client really loves the painting as well. And that it is an appropriate celebration of Emily's life. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I'll give you a quick little close up. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure you've subscribed to my channel. Hope you have a great day. Bye.